Hi, I'm Samaru and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are just going to build a small little cottage. This is a starter. She is very cute. I personally think this is one of my favorite builds that I have done with the horse ranch kits so far. So with that being said, let's jump into the speed build. For this build, I wanted it to blend into the world, so I did look at the little wooden cabinets, cabinets, <laughs> cabins that we have next door, but I also really wanted this place to look very ragtag, very, it has been added on, nothing really matches, none of the roof lines, you can see what room was attached later on. That is kind of the vibe that I am going for with this house. Now, I go in with the pillars from the Werewolves pack. Even though this pack did give us a lot of rustic types of, like, pillars when it comes to the wood swatches, but they're not as wanky as the Werewolf one, so I really wanted to go for Werewolves. I also use a lot of the Werewolf roofing. And all in all, you can already start to see where we are going with this. Now, we do attach a bathroom as well. It was just a little bit too small. And at the end of the day, when this build is finished, this is honestly one of my absolute favorite, favorite builds that I have done in this pack. It was so fun to build. It is a starter as well, so, well, a family starter, so you can definitely just load your family up in here if you want to, and you could just have a good time. If you have a single sim, you can always just remove the back, like, bedrooms, I guess, and you would have more than enough money. Now, I did want this to be a family house. I do have, like, this entire little storyline that I was going for them. So, I wanted three bedrooms. Eventually, they are going to have to add another bedroom because they do have a baby that is about to turn into an infant. So, yeah, I have that entire storyline <laughs> as well. So, you will see that we have a double bed, we have a cart, we have a crib... We've got two beds, we do have a bathroom. I was also able to use a lot of things that I have never used before, especially in the bathrooms, but we will get to that when we get to that. <laughs> so yeah, so we are trying to figure out what doors and windows we wanted to use. I was kind of on the edge with this barn window because it doesn't actually have a window in it. It's completely open. I tried a lot of different windows there, but in the end, I felt like it looked the best, and I really just like the vibe of the shutters, shutters that are, like, kind of almost open. I also do this a lot in this house, where we use a disgusting carpet, kind of mixed with wooden floor or tiling. Absolutely stunning. I was obsessed. That green carpet in the bedroom is kind of pretty. Like, Loki. I would never have it in my house, but it is kind of, like, really nice. I, I honestly enjoy it. This kitchen is absolutely so cute. This place is completely functional. This window seemed off-centered because of the counter that didn't really fit the entire wall, but it actually isn't. I did move it up a bit, but it looked weird, because if you look at it, the zinc is actually centered in that, like, in the window itself. So choices had to be made. I was fine with it. It still looks really cute. And then, of course, we go in with that dirty, dirty tile window. And then we just add this beautiful fireplace that's also quite new with this pack. It's absolutely stunning. I am going to use it a lot. I really want her to have... Um, camping chairs inside of this home. I think it's really a vibe, <laughs> if that is the right word. So yeah, so we have this really cute, I don't know, it looks like a Tasmanian devil, like wolf type of 
camping chair that's like kind of like howling i guess it's probably a werewolf i think that's most likely what it is but still it's very cute we add a lot of these like boarding game on the table even though this table isn't a boarding game table you do need to have a specific table to play cards and board games and build puzzles and all of that but it still looked really cute just to have that extra bit of detail I place the tragic clown in the kids' room. That's one of my favorite things to do these days, is just giving children tragic clowns, because children are tragic, and I feel like they deserve it. But that is a story for another time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Now, here we just add a little bit of cobwebs. I don't go overboard. I think we have, like, three cobwebs. These things just appear overnight. They really do. So, my idea for the cobwebs wasn't to have the family be, like, dirty. It was more in the sense of there's a lot going on here. It's very busy. They're in the middle of the outback. So, yeah, they're gonna have some spider webs every now and then, and they just don't have the time to keep their hand on every day getting rid of some cobwebs. That was the storyline that I was going for, and I think it's kind of cute. Now, because we do not have a proper bedroom, the baby um, and the infant that is going to be, they all sleep in this main bedroom. This room can easily be split into two. Unfortunately, I feel like the one entrance is going to be on the outside of the house, but that's also completely fine. You can maybe move the teenager out there. There's a lot of space to play around with when it comes to this home, and that is what I really like. I also really like that when you add something, it might necessarily not even look that off. Say you decide to just plop another bedroom in. Maybe add, like, a staircase that goes upstairs. Maybe not even a staircase, maybe just a ladder. There are so many possibilities with a cute little Weasley-style home like this. This is a ragtag house. Now, this is the youngest child, and my idea was that they really wanted to be a scientist. They might turn out to be, like, a mad scientist. They have this friend that constantly comes and visits them, which is obviously the tragic clown. Now, the entire household can see the tragic clown, but in my idea, it's only the child. It's like the child's imaginary friend. We really need imaginary friends back in this game. That was amazing. That was one of the best features of The Sims 3. The, in my opinion, I always gave my kids the, the imaginary friend that was at that doll. Oh, we started walking and like doo -doo 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 -doo. it was absolutely amazing it's the best thing ever now this is the teenager's bedroom i went more for like an artistic route with them i did want to give them the oh, the pc it was a give it was one of those things where i was like okay am i really gonna put money out for this and i did i felt like it's necessary you do need laptops or computers or anything like that in the sims it really just makes everything a lot easier it makes the fun of the gameplay a little bit more fun and a little bit more dynamic you can use your cell phone but no i decided to give them a computer now this is what i mean with things i've never used before i've never used that toilet i have never well i might have used the toilet but i have never used that bathtub shower thing because it's just too out there even in any of my other like bowls, it's a little bit much, but I did feel like it worked really well with this house. I was really excited to finally be able to have that, and then we just needed to add some greenery. We needed something that this place just doesn't look dead and desolate, and I was obsessed. There's the unicorn again. She's not functional, but we love her. I did do a build, a sunflower build, where I have the unicorn just like propped in one of the stables. I will link that video up here if you have not seen it. But now we are going out back and we are just trying to give them a fence. This fence is out of debug from the horse ranch pack and she's absolutely stunning. I am probably going to use this broken down fence a lot. This is exactly what I wanted. It is absolutely amazing. It is so stunning. And then, of course, we needed our horse to have some food and some water. 
I gave them a chicken coop because this family just feels like they have a chicken coop. I don't know why. This just feels like a chicken coop kind of family. So I gave them that. I use the chicken coops a lot in this world. I feel like they are the easiest implemented when it comes to all of the other animals that came with cottage living. I did use the barns in one of my other builds that will probably be up this week. But all in all, I feel like the chickens are just easily, they more easily to add. I mean, they're so small and tiny. And then we just go ahead and we just add a lot of foliage. This place looks absolutely stunning. We have to go in with some terrain paint. And after that, I will just jump into this game, show you around and show you what it looks like. As I mentioned, this is a, one of my favorite builds. Just look at this place. She looks so lived in. She looks stunning. I... Uh, and it was so fun playing in this house. I had like a small little just let's play by my own. And it was just so fun. I would definitely recommend downloading this home. Oh yeah, and then we just finish off with some pumpkins to keep the roof on. Here we are back in the game and I just want to mention that these three little copper flowers that came with us back in debug is just absolutely amazing. I am obsessed with this. They are just so cute. Now let me show you what this place looks like on the outside. I did add like a little bit of a satellite. I felt like it needed it. And then of course some bees. Because, well, insects. They're not bees. No, they are bees. Yeah, I gave them some bees. I felt like they needed honey. For a moment, I was confused. I was like, is this bees or are these the live insects? But no, I gave them bees. They deserve bees. This place needs to be pollinated. Now, let's look at the house from our floor plan. So here we have the child's room. We have our teenager's bedroom, which is one of my favorite rooms. And then, of course, the main bedroom that has been split in half. And then our living space. Let's take a closer look. So here we have our main bedroom looking absolutely amazing. I added these lights afterwards, but they are just so cool. They've got this kind of like a rustic vibe to them. And then I think I added this spider web afterwards as well. I just think it's funny that there's like a spider web where the baby is sleeping. I don't know. Small things amuses me. And then over here, this is our living space. Also looking so lived in. We have this beautiful bonsai tree. It's a fun little activity for your sims. And then of course the kitchen, which is also probably one of my favorite spots in this game now we do have this calendar look at that sexy police officer telling people to cross the road yes i love that calendar it came with like get to work yeah it's like the first expansion pack and then of course this like teens room just look at how cool this is i love this cabinet this cabinet is absolutely stunning I wish I could have it in real life. And then also they have a door that leads to the outside. Some more planters. And then our little science child's room. This is also the only actual bed in the house. Now that I think about it. Because this is like a blow up mattress type of situation. It came with eco lifestyle. You get it through dumpster diving. It's so cheap. It's like 20 simoleons. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I really hope that you liked it. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And then I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.